look at this guys. That entire box is filled with Fred C. Young original paints. I'm speechless. Retro bassin, kicking some ass in wearing rayon jackets. Thinking about Bill Dance, watching these fish prance through my Ray Ban glasses. Ain't nothing better than 40 year old lures coming off of Zepco 33. Out on the bass boat, making beer cans float, doing some trespassing. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. One of the greatest things about this channel, it's not just the old school gold that I find on my own, but the old school gold that I find with the help of you, my bass and buds. We've been doing a ton of uh, walkthroughs of local family owned tackle shops all around the southern United States. But without a doubt, the number one place that my bass and buds are recommending I go hit is this place, Bacon's Tackle in Shreveport, Louisiana. It is a privately owned uh, tackle shop owned by Mike Bacon, who is a third generation owner. This place has been selling tackle since 1926. Let's just say this is not going to be a one episode venture to this place. Quite frankly, I think that you could actually dedicate an entire fishing YouTube channel to Bacon's Tackle. So I'm going to do my best over the coming weeks and months to document what they have inside these walls. We're going to do some walkthroughs, we're going to talk history, we're going to talk about Bacon's and Cotton Cordell and Smith McLure's. We're going to do it all. But today, we're going to be doing the most epic unboxing that has ever been done on the internet. And I don't mean that dramatically. <laughs> Mike was kind enough to bring in um, a box full and when I say full, I mean full of Fred C. Young Big O Baits. By his estimates, he has 93 hand-carved Fred Young Big O's. Now, this is the holy grail bait of, of bass fishing. I wasn't sure that I would ever get my hands on a Fred C. Young Big O, much less have the chance to look at 93 of them. So hop aboard, climb on in, and I'll see you guys on the inside. What I've got here are two boxes from a Mike Bacon's personal collection of Fred C. Young baits. That's right. In here are somewhere in the vicinity of 93 Fred C. Young original baits. Some of these are the classic big O's. Some of these are prototypes that I don't know that the world has ever seen. So we're gonna get through <laughs> these two boxes today. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys are ready. So first things first is this. This is a box, it looks like it was a product shipping from Fred C. Young to Cotton Cordell. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what's inside this bad boy first. Okay, so I see a stack of letters we're gonna to get to in a hot second. As well as the first thing I see here is clearly some sort of Fred C. Young bait. You can just totally tell by that Fred C. Young color pattern there. It's a buzz bait of some sort with a single hook, a weed guard, and a grub that is attached to one of these letters after who knows how many decades. Oh, check that out. Okay, here's a prototype for a really wild bait. Uh, I have never seen that before. Looks like it's got a buzz bait head, almost a backwards big O style body with a single hook and a little grub. <laughs> that is wild. Oh boy. 
Look at this. Just like a half a dozen Fred C. Young originals just hanging out in the bottom of this box. I mean, I could do a whole video on any one of these lures and still not feel like I did it justice. Okay, so there's the first bait that we're looking at. Um, that is a really good looking big O. It says Fred C. Young and the number on this thing is 1904. Oh, that's a good looking bait. So that is a really, really good looking Fred C. Young. Oof. <laughs> I've seen these like many lore hunters, tackle junkies. I've spied these on the internet for a long, long time. I never thought I'd actually see one in person, to be honest with you. I certainly never thought I would see probably clearly the most epic collection the world has of these baits. So this is wild. That's a great, great looking bait. Oh, there's another one in a really nice color. So what number is this? 1825. Sort of got a gray back to it. Classic big O lip. Oh, there's another one. Look at that guy. Nineteen twenty-six. Oh, ooh, look at this thing. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful bait. <laughs> look at that. Oh, wow. So this is a big O. This is number 18, 1900. So even uh, 1900 on that bait. Oh, wow. That is a wild color. <sighs> Oof. 1993 on this guy. Oh, look at that bait. So it looks like on the vast majority of these, Fred signed the right side of the bait. Oh man. Well, there are six more <laughs> Fred C. Young baits than I thought I would ever see in my life. Uh, <sighs> okay, now it's time to get into this. And this kind of scares me, to be honest with you. This is a heavy box. This is a box like I've got a bunch of old school throwaway baits that I throw in a cardboard box and put it in the garage. This is what this feels like, except. I know that <laughs> there's probably like a hundred thousand dollars of wood right in here. And the history on it is clearly priceless as well. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this guys. That entire box is filled with Fred C. Young original baits. I'm speechless. That's, I mean, this is literally a, pr a priceless box of, of old school gold. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just gotta, I just gotta get into these. Whew. Um, so this is interesting. This one is clearly a Fred C. Young bait. It's got the circuit board lip. This one is not signed, but a little bit more, more reminiscent of a cotton cordell for sure. But I think that's wood. I'm pretty sure. Looks like that's been a repaint job. So here's a beautiful bait. Oh wow, look at that. Fred C. Young, what number do we have here? 
700. <laughs> wow, that's a good looking big O. Oh my goodness. Look at that little bait. Oh wow. I feel like I should be spending more time on each of these baits, but I'm just looking at the pile of baits I've got to get through. Um, this is just overwhelming. So this looks like you've got a, a cotton cordell gay blade and on the back of it is this, which is another Fred Young carving of some sort. So clearly a prototype lure. I have no idea how you would fish that number right there, but that's pretty well. <laughs> There's a Fred Young prototype for you. Look at that wild lip. Oh my goodness. So here we've got what looks to be a minnow bait of some sort. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. And it just has a little X on the bill. There's another minnow bait. And you can tell this is a Fred Young because it's got that really classic um, sort of check mark style gill plate on it. Plus that gold flake he used was very unique. You don't see that a whole lot. Wow. So that's almost a, a coffin style lip on that too. Isn't that wild? And what a color pattern on that bait. <sighs> There's a mini, a little big O. And actually, this is interesting. It does have a different lip on that. It's like actually a plastic lip versus the old circuit board. But clearly a handmade wooden bait of some sort. <sighs> classic looking big O. Oh man, what number do we have here? 1585. <laughs> okay. You know, like normally when you get like a bunch of like crankbaits and the, and the hooks kind of get tangled up and you just kind of start jerking it around. I'm not doing that with these baits. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, that like is a big O tangle that I'm gonna have to very delicately work through. <laughs> Holy cow. Ooh, look at this little bait. Oh, that's gorgeous. Ho, ho, ho. I remember a bait from Cotton Cordell called the Shadow, and this looks a whole lot like that. Look at that lip though, that's pretty wild. Almost a heart-shaped lip. 
it does say big O on the bottom, but it is not signed by Fred. Oh, uh, that's a really unique lip. I've seen a couple of those so far. I've seen one or two of these online. I have no idea how that thing would fish, but definitely a wild, wild bait. And I don't know if you can see, but it's got an eye at the front and also an eye at the back as well. There's a little big O. Let's have a number. It does not. Uh, but it's got sort of handwritten Big O on the bottom. Awesome. So I'm not sure what this is, if this is some sort of prototype, but this was in here. Um, is this wood or plastic? I can't tell. I think that's a plastic bait. So that might be some sort of plastic prototype. There's a little big O in that classic color pattern. And, oh, does it have a number on it? Nope, just says big O handwritten on the bill there. <sighs> Look at that guy. Oof, big O, 1589. I'll hold it up so you guys can see the number. What's wild about Fred is he didn't make thousands and thousands of these things. All the ones that I've ever seen online and that I'm seeing here today, I feel like it's, you know, 2,000 and less of these baits that I've ever seen numbered. Most of them are somewhere in the thousands. Oh, wow, look at this guy. Okay, so this is bait number 1991. 2109. Okay, so there's number 2109. So yeah, I haven't seen one of these over, I think, this number. Really? Yeah, so I think, I mean, there's not, you know, mm. thousands and thousands of these baits out there mm. th that I know of. Mm -hmm. Everyone I've ever seen online, it's usually in the teens. Man, what a, what a contraption. Yes. Okay, there's another one. Oh, this is a new color. This is sort of a green big O. Look at that. That is, ooh, a piece of artwork. Does this have a number on it? So this one looks like it's 2200 and something. I'll hold it up a little bit so you guys can see better. But that is a gorgeous, gorgeous looking bait. Whoa, you talk about wild prototypes. Look at that bait. Pretty normal looking body, but check out that lip. Oh man. So that is a really unique, long circuit board style lip of this big O. Never seen anything that looks like that. Whew. <laughs> that is so wild. There's the smallest big O that I've seen in here, almost an ultralight. Man, if I had a rod with some four pound pest, I would totally, no, no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, not numbered, but it does say big O on the bottom. So I think the kind of the pattern that I'm learning, and again, I'm not the big O expert, but it looks like Fred was numbering that classic big O, but not numbering the prototypes and then some of the smaller variants of the big O. There 
It's a good looking crankbait. Or oh, that wild lip. I wonder how that thing fished. Just so funky. Uh, I feel like I should be wearing white gloves or something to do this. So here's another one. Looks like there's a bunch of these baits. So I don't know if this was a design that Fred was kind of going for later in his career. Um, I've never really seen these a whole, whole lot. I've seen a picture of one or two online, but no idea how that thing would fish. Oh, look at that one. Look how flat that thing is. Oh, man. And it's got sort of the rear facing eye, uh, like an old school bomber or something. Man, he was not afraid to, to take a chance on the lure, huh? So here's another one. Oh, look at that bait. Signed Fred C. Young. 1643. <laughs> the old classic, classic Big O style. There's a little flat one. Look at that. It's like a punch out of the lip. But it does say Big O on it. So there's another one of those little minnow baits. That's a really nice looking bait. Almost looks like a head and cobra or something. Man, that is really, really nice. And another one right there. Okay, look at that. <laughs> so they've got sort of a medium sized big O uh, with that unique shaped lip with sort of the punch out of it. Numbered, nope, but it is stamped with the big O on the bill. Another minnow. That sort of looks like a rogue, doesn't it? It's got that look to it. Man. And check out that bill. Ooh, that's a cute little thing. Look at that. Almost looks like a little uh, mini shallow fat wrap or something. And here is a prototype if I've ever seen one. So one thing, this, this bait, it's got some weight to it. I think there's a weight in the bill of this thing or the head. I have no idea if that is supposed to be sort of some sort of jigging, school and bass type lure, but it is the heaviest thing I've grabbed all day. Really, really wild looking. Doesn't say big O on it, but yeah, I think there's some sort of weight in the bill there. No idea, but that is a pretty wild prototype of some sort. <laughs> Every time I feel like I'm kind of getting to the bottom of this thing, I remove another layer of paper and there's another massive layer of big O's. I'm not complaining, but holy cow. This has got to be the single most overwhelming unboxing episode, anything that, that I've ever done. Um, I'm just being honest with you. It's, uh, 
it's just numbing how insane this is. Oh, and look at this color. Are you kidding me? 2,441 Big O in, oh, look at that color. That is like a flow orange with green back. Oh, and the, oh, the pale belly. Oh my goodness. And there's the side with the signature. That is a wild, wild looking bait. Look how good that looks. Oh my gosh. That, that might be my favorite one of all. That's a good looking bait. Oh man. So there's another one. This one, feel, this one feels pretty heavy and sort of a unique looking back there. Sort of crankbait style with a weird sort of double face. Face in the back, face on the front. We've gotten a few of those. I think that was a pretty popular style, at least as far as Fred's carving days are concerned. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that bait. Man, that's a pretty one. What does that say? So this one doesn't even say Big O. It just says Mr. Fred. <laughs> oh. So this looks like a carved bait that hasn't yet been painted. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, so there's a carved bait with a lip in it. You can see we got hooks on it, but it has not yet been painted. Really cool. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Here's a big O. A big, big O. Look at that. And also something you can't appreciate from this angle, but check that out. Old flat side. Wow. Oh, man. But that is, look how big my hand is. That's a big, big bait. Oh my gosh. If you're ever really bored, you could just attach a lead weight <laughs> to a custom Fred C. Young bait and throw it out and see if you get a catfish maybe. <laughs> I have no idea. Look at that prototype. So clearly this is some sort of prototype bait where I guess you'd cast this thing out, this thing would sink, this bait would float. I don't know that I feel super comfortable having this lure with these treble hooks balancing along the bottom of a rocky lake, but hey, maybe that's just me. <laughs> oh, here's a nice one. And it's a little one. A little big O. Nice orange and yellow. Black back. And there's the lip. So there's this unique bait we've seen a bunch of. This is number five. So I noticed he only numbered the big O's, but there's a number on this one. So I don't know if this is the number five in the prototype line of this one. Which is just a weird, weird looking bait. But yeah, it's got the old number five on. Cotton bait one similar. Okay. Is it was it what the cotton's crab though? What was what was the bait that he made that was I forget the name. Just like that, except the bill shorter. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we fished with him. Uh, I don't know what he called it. It's got a, it's on a car, Lister back. Okay. It's got a name. Okay. Uh, but, but there's a bunch, I mean, I'm kind of keeping them, like putting them together. But yeah, there's there's a few of those. I don't know how many baits I'm into it. Hey. 
I like those flat big O's. That's a good looking bait too. But yeah, so he would stamp the big O on most all of them. He would only, I think, sign and number, it looks like. Uh, the, the, the classic, yeah, like that's the one where it's like this one. You can see those are just. I think Big O was the name of him or his brother or something, wasn't it? So his lure tester was his brother Otis. Otis, that's it. And that's how he came up with Big O, I guess, is that he would test them out. And and yeah. So but, it's more of a name instead of a style. Yes, yeah, so I think it was, yeah, I think because honestly a lot of these have big, like this thing with this weird lip yeah. says Big O. I mean, it's not a, it's a flat sided, kind of punched out lip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this one's nice little big O, stamped. Yeah, these little mini ones are sweet too, though, man. Oof. Yeah, why, don't you, why don't you take that one out back, throw that on some four pound test and see what happens, you know? <laughs> or, or this, or this one with the weight. Just bounce it off the bottom of a rocky oh, lake. It'll be yeah. fine. In the snags. <laughs> Can you? <laughs> We're not even gonna discuss that. Uh, that's a wild lip, though. I wonder how that thing fishes. I think he tried them all before he shipped them out. Okay. Oh wow! So he actually, it's a lot of casting. Well, I think he had a tank. Okay. Wow. What number is this? <gasps> hey Mike, I found a, I found a number one. Are you serious? It's a number one. Here, let's see. Yep. Of whatever that style bait is. Sure is. <laughs> wow. Nate. Holy cow. So we gotta figure out what the name of this bait is now. Mm. Um I'll see if I can't find one that cotton made that's similar. Oh, but look at that guys. A number one. Or hold it still right. <laughs> uh I mean granted it's not like the standard, you know, classic big O, but a number one of anything, Fred C. Young, holy cow. That's wild. Just look at that. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a little baby one of that version. Look at that. Woo! There's a really big O. Look at that. Does that rattle? It's got a rattle in it. Oh. Check out that bait. And it says big O on the bottom. Oh man. That is wild. On to the next layer of big O's. I mean, I knew this whole stop was gonna be like a two or three parter. I didn't think this unboxing was gonna be a two or three parter. Holy cow. I mean, this is, this could be a 40 minute unboxing of just every lure, priceless. What number is this? Um, oh, that's really cool. An old even, 1,000. Fred's 1,000th Big O. <laughs> oh, man. That's a cool one, too. That's really cool. I'll get you guys another good look at that one before we move on. I think that's 2,207, maybe. I'll hold it up, see if you guys can see better than I can. Wow, look at that guy. There's 
There's another little mini big L. There's a prototype of some sort. T-O, this says T-O on it. No idea what that is. But that's a pretty unique looking crankbait, isn't it? Look at that wood grain. Oh, wow. <sighs> Not a little minnow bait. That is probably one of the spiciest color patterns I've seen. Look at that. Get a better grip on it. There's the top and the bottom. Oof. I found number 1000. Oh, ho, ho. Really? Yeah. Even 1000. Sweet. <laughs> That's that lower cotton actually painted those eyes on there. Oh yeah, yeah. okay, so this, and what was this called? I don't know. I forgot. So there's the cotton cordell version produced of this bait. Okay, so that is the actual bait, and then we had the number one prototype, which is hmm. number five. I had it somewhere. There we go, number one. So yes, there's the number one prototype for this lure. And then there's the produced version of it. That's pretty cool. It didn't change too much, did it? Okay, so it looks like we have another prototype here that is unpainted. More of a really standard looking lip there, huh? It looks like more like a bomber A or something. It's pretty cool. And number nine of this bait. <laughs> we gotta figure out what the name of this thing is. Oh my goodness. There's a little mini big O with a almost little cup shaped lift to it. So there's one with that wild lip that we saw before. It sort of goes straight and then into a circle. Oh man. Wish I knew what the name of this bait was or how it would even fish, but that is pretty funky. There's another prototype. Unpainted. There's one that says big O and a plus sign. Nice flat sided bait, look at that. Ooh. <laughs> a look at the body and the bill on that sucker. Oh man. Super thin bill. Almost a natural wood finish with some uh, scale pattern on there. Oof! So here we have number 2305. <laughs> so here's a little one that actually is signed by Fred. He didn't sign a lot of the little ones, I'm noticing. The old Mr. Fred. That looks like a little fish catcher, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, man. So 
So there's another flat sided big O with that punched out lip. Nice blue back color there. Look at that. Almost sort of an oxbow uh, color. Okay, this one says Big O, but this is like a spitting image for a Cotton Cordell Shad O that I've got. Very similar lip, profile, size, everything except for the color. Look at that guy, little minnow. Okay, we've got the number 11 in this style of crankbait. Boy, number 11 was pretty, wasn't it? Man. Here we've got a little Fred C. Young topwater. Almost looks like a deadly Dudley blade on the front there and sort of a solid body uh, and an old skirt. Look at that. Wow, I'll have to put that with the top waters. There's a couple of them, I think. Well, it looks like the good news is we're at the last layer. <laughs> Look how deep that last layer is. <laughs> Got a little knot there, Russ. <sighs> the most expensive hook tangle in fish in history, right here. Oh my goodness. Maybe I'll slide this thing out. I don't know what to do. a very smart move or a very dumb move I can't tell <laughs> all right I'll slide this thing over and see if I can get any of these guys to sort of separate okay so back to the baits there's a nice one Fred C young 1658 Ooh. Every one of these is just prettier than the next. I love, love, love those big gold flakes he puts in those. Fifteen, twelve. Twenty-one, oh four. <laughs> this is a cool one. Okay, so this is number 1600. Big O on the bill. Signed by Fred C. Young on the right. And on the left, looks like that was signed by Cotton. Wow. That's a rare one. I'm going to put that to the side to show Mike. Um, yeah, that's definitely a different signature. So it looks like Fred and Cotton Cordell both signed this bait. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's a goodie. Wow. There's a little big O. Or that might be a Mr. Fred, yeah. So there's one, unsigned, big O. Well, it's got the old stamp on the bill. Twenty-one forty-three. Look at that one. There's the bottom. Oof. 
Good looking bait. I'm trying to put this into perspective. You know, if you could think of one lore, a Fred C. Young original is the holy grail of fishing lures. Honestly, most people probably go their whole life without ever seeing one. Honestly, I never thought I would see one unless I went to like a, a you know, um, NFL CC meeting. Maybe you might get a glimpse at one there. <laughs> it's like a unicorn times 93. It's unbelievable. Truly unbelievable. Two, three, nine, four. Fred C. Young. And there's the number on that one. Wow. Seventeen sixty one. There's a number on that one. Twenty five oh five. Wow, really nice. Two thousand and eight. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Just the wall of Fred's Youngs that I'm building up here is impressive. Fifteen ninety four. Oh man. Look at that. Woof. So here's a unique one, a little minnow. It's got some sort of writing on the bill I can't read. That's a little like three and a half inch minnow of some sort. And it's a little baby one. Fred C. Young, numbers this guy, 1574. I found a good one. I found a good one. So you see what that says there on okay. that side, right? Oh, that's the only one like it? Oh, uh, wow. Cotton signed this one. He did. That's pretty I've, neat. Yeah, I've never seen one. So oh, that's yeah. I got. I've got. I'll. Sh I'll try to dig <laughs> one out. But that's that's a cool one. So yeah, cotton's. That's that's pretty neat. <laughs> that reminds me. I, I got something. I'll show you. <laughs> Every time you say that, you make my heart. Uh... Yeah, there's some more in here too. 1732. In there, there are. <laughs> Look at that guy. Oof. Ooh, look at that minnow. That's wild looking. Wait till you see the angle of this thing. It's almost a diamond shaped body. Huh. What? That is wild. What you got? 1802. That's a darker one too, look at that. Oof, almost like a bluegill pattern. Wow. Ooh, even 1,500. Oh, man. Look at that. All white looking. Woo. Little sparkles on it. And there's our number. Two thousand and eight. Huh. So this one says Fred C. Young. 
number 1400 so kind of a cool color there but then look at that it's got the year on it 1976 oh that's really unique that must have been the Yuri carpet <laughs> put that one off I love the little variations as he was clearly kind of going through his career, new little things he'd try. Um, <laughs> there we go, Big O stamp. A non-numbered Big O here. 1,200. I'm getting all the even numbers today, huh? All right, I've got to pick up the pace on this a little bit, even though I do not want to. Two, four, nine, six. Two, four, nine, eight. Two, one, one, two. Two, uh, looks like one, one, four. Two, one, six, zero. Look at that color. Unnumbered. Another unnumbered. Fifteen thirty nine. Fifteen seventy two. Looks like sixteen seventy three. Sixteen seventy four. Eleven hundred. Look at that color. Oh, that is really nice brown root beer color. Woo. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm getting pushed out of the way by big O's. <laughs> well, it's like fifteen forty. Sixteen oh six. Twenty three ninety seven. Number fourteen. Oh, this guy. Unnumbered big O. Wild minnow. Look at the belly on that thing. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. An ultralight big O. Look how small that thing is. Oh my goodness. 
It's like a little P. And it says Big O. <laughs> That's really cool. Big O, unnumbered. Unpainted one. Ooh, check this one out. It says Fred C. Young on the right, and on the left, Mr. Cotton. <laughs> That's the second one of those that I found. That's wild. Some sort of prototype bait here. It's like a diving bait. Number 2400. Check this out. Under the side. It says Mr. Cotton, 85, 1980. Number 241 of this guy. It says double zero. No idea what that means. Another minnow bait. Big O. Number nine. Unnumbered Big O with a T on the bottom. Diamond shaped minnow baits. Wow. Imagine what a pickerel would do to that. <laughs> Another minnow. A little big O. And it says CL, I think, on the bottom. Pretty wild looking. Ooh, look at that guy. close. We're getting close. So what the heck is this thing? Look at that prototype. Woof. It's got like a weight in the front of it. Really heavy. But a wooden body. 
super, super weird. I guess that might just bounce on the bottom or something. Wow. Some sort of buzz bait that has since disintegrated, but that might be a, a Fred carving on the top there. Okay, I've got one more bait. So there was a bait at the top of the package in a special little bag that I put off to the side. Mike mentioned that he has got, of all the basically priceless big O's that he's got, he's got one that was super special. And it's this guy. So check out the number on that. Big O number two. <laughs> this is the second Big O that's ever been numbered. I've never seen one below the thousands. And this is number two. <sighs> ah, just... <laughs> you've got like the Holy Grail and then you've got like the gold-plated Holy Grail. Holy cow. That is a very special, special bait. Clearly Fred Young made a few of these before he started numbering them, but it says number two. <sighs> That's really cool. So Bass and Buds, I clearly have a little bit of cleanup to do here at Bacon's Tackle. Um, First off, I want to thank Mike Bacon. Um, he was gracious enough to not only let me come into his shop and film, but to bring his really priceless collection of baits, to show them, to share them with me, and let me share them with you guys. Um, I don't think you could travel the world and find another collection that rivals this. So it's really cool that it's in great shape. It's really cool that it is together. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the ride on the most epic unboxing ever. Till next time guys, keep on cranking and definitely fish it old school. Fishing it old school, this old stuff rules. Welcome to Retro Bass. What is this? Cotton was coming out with, this is what he was gonna do next. The original crankbait. Okay. <laughs> this is his stuff here. And that's what he was gonna come out with. Pretty neat, huh? Oh, so this was okay. Yeah, he was fixing after Pratco and everything collapsed. Cotton couldn't get out of the business. And this is what he was, he, he did this, made this little deal by hand. Those the original crankbait, yeah. add water, tie tight and hang on. That was cotton. Oh, wow, that looks, Oh, <laughs>